All right, this is where the video ends, but we need to start this video way, way back on Queen Street. I need a new pair of shoes. It's shut. Hello and welcome to another Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. My name is Nigel Hay and this is my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm currently standing at the 420 in Stanley Avenue here in Niagara Falls. Uh, but today I am not going to the main part of Niagara Falls, which is behind me, which is also mainly known as the tourist area, the very commercial area. Today we're actually going to go and explore a different part of Niagara Falls. We're going to explore the old downtown Queen Street. When you think of Niagara Falls, most people automatically think of the uh, tourist destination, uh, which was basically what we just saw over there, which is the falls itself, uh, the casinos and the hotels. But long before uh, they all arrived down here, this area of Queen Street of Niagara Falls would have been the major training area of the town or city, whichever you want to call it. And uh, it's sad, really. It's just a typical old Canadian town, which has really got lost. All right, everywhere you go, there's music playing in the street. <laughs> so if you're bored and lonely, at least you've got some music to listen to. Uh, I found a shop that it is open and apparently it sells everything. All right, I found an actual proper business. It's actually open. Uh, a proper hair barbershop, it's called. And uh, yeah, there's people here been attended to. Now this place looks good, but guess what? It's shut. This has to be the smallest shop I've ever seen in my life. Look at the size of it, it's tiny. Apparently this is the uh, last bank standing here on uh, Queen Street. Uh, CIBC, all the others have gone. Uh, Scotia Bank used to be on Victoria Avenue. Uh, TD used to be down here. And apparently used to be a roll bank as well.
as you can tell from those old uh, pictures, this place really was somewhat of a thriving town. 80, 90, 100 years ago. Now there's nothing. All right, I'm just trying to read uh, some of the reviews here on TripAdvisor. Uh, like most tourist areas in the world today, things are different. Uh, downtown Niagara Falls isn't better or worse than other places I visited. Yes, in places, it's a little on the tacky side. We visited in the winter, so not everything was open. Also, the area looks bleak without the sunshine and flowers. So why did they give it a five-star review? There's nothing here. You gave something a five-star review and there's nothing to show for your five-star review. Uh, the place is desolate, uh, it run down, and it's definitely nothing here to entice anyone from the tourist area to come on down here. There, there really isn't. So I'm really confused why people on TripAdvisor are giving this the review it did. It just does not make sense at all. Rather odd. Now this is pretty cool I just found, uh, just on the back street, just by total accident. There's actually quite a bit of history here. Uh, as you can see, the information on uh, Jay Cochran, the guy who tight roped, uh, tight walk roped across the uh, falls. Uh, there's a few other things here as well. So <laughs> this is just by accident I found this little area completely hidden out of the way. This is cute as well. It's probably the nicest thing I've found so far. Right, it's starting to snow, so I'm going to grab myself a coffee because I found the coffee shop. Queen Bean Cafe. It's shut. <sighs> Everywhere's shut. All right, keep walking around and see what we can find. The further I get down Queen Street, uh, the more things I'm finding boarded up, closed off, uh, up for lease. This is it's pretty dire, it really is. Now I've had a coffee, but the coffee shop's shut. I could have just sat down here and uh, enjoyed my coffee. But there's uh, no coffee shop open. Sucks. And it's cold. Now here's something which I find quite infuriating. A place which is so quiet like this, with no one around, business is dying, but yet you have to pay to park around here constantly, which I think is really, really bad. If the city want people to come down here, they need to abolish these parking meters all along Queen Street. They really have to go. Otherwise, there's no point. You're trying to get people down here, and the last thing you want to do is pay, and there's nothing here. I think I'm at the bottom of Queen Street. I'll tell you what, cue the tumbleweeds. All right, I just walked off Queen Street slightly and I'm uh, just walking over to Park Street because this building has always intrigued me. Uh, this is Park and Zimmerman. And uh, Queen Street is just there. And now we're down here. Look at this great, magnificent building. This really is a cool old building. Look at that. Absolutely really, really nice. Probably the nicest building I've seen down here, but it's a uh, derelict. I forgot to just mention, if you like what you see on this uh, video, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. My name is Nigel Hay, and of course this is Nigel's Chief Vlogs, and this is part of our This Is Niagara uh, sequence of videos of me exploring different areas of the Niagara region. And this is basically being the old town of Niagara Falls. Uh, this is the uh, a disused railway line I don't know if any tracks are on it. I might have a walk up there in a second. In fact, let's go and have a look now. Seems I'm here. Is there tracks on it? Oh. Oof. Oh, no. There's nothing. That railway line is in use. Uh, that is the main line. That's where you get you, uh, your uh, Amtrak train 
uh, to New York here from Niagara Falls, which runs from uh, Toronto all the way to uh, Penn, Cent uh, Penn Central, uh, which would be, I think they call it the Maple Leaf Line or the Maple Leaf Train. And you can also catch the GO Train here as well uh, every day, which takes you into Toronto. So that line is still active. This one isn't. Tell you what, I just love going off the beaten path. I'm going to see how far this takes me. This looks pretty interesting. The bridge just ends. Is, well, it doesn't end. <laughs> this bit coming up now just reminds me of the demilitarised. Demilitarised. I can't even say that word now. You know what I mean. Demilita uh, demilitarised zone. I'll get it out. I feel like I'm in the Cold War or something. Look at this. Now the good thing is, when you come off the beaten path, you get spectacular views just like this. This is the Niagara River. Uh, Niagara Falls is just there. That is the United States of America. Uh, this is where I can't go any further. Uh, this is the Whirlpool Bridge, so you have a Nexus card. Uh, you can sneak over that way instead of lining up at the other bridges. So uh, I think I've gone as far as I could here. This is probably the best bit of my trip along the old downtown Niagara Falls, I get to see a perfect, beautiful view like this. All right, so there you have it. If you're ever in the Niagara region, you know what? It's worth a walk, it really is. Even though it's a bit run down and a little sad in places, um, take a walk down. It, it literally is a 10 minute walk from one end of Queen Street down to here. And when you get down to this part of Niagara Falls, uh, the Niagara River, you can actually walk left or right if you go that way, you're going to end up at uh, the White Water Rapids and towards the Floral Clock. And if you walk that way, it'll take you straight to Niagara Falls. Actually, if you walk this way, if you come off the GO bus or GO train, just walk down to the Niagara River, which is about 150 meters from the bus stop. And just follow the road all the way along. It'll take you about 20 minutes to walk into Niagara Falls, which is pretty cool. Uh, the view down here is spectacular. I've been down this part many times in the summer when it's green and it really, really is nice to see. Forget all those old buildings and all the rundown area of Niagara Falls. This bit is actually really, really nice in the summer. Uh, in fact, any time of the year, it's just nice to walk around. Uh, very scenic this end. Uh, but in a nutshell, at the end of the day, I just wish they could do something a little bit more with uh, Queen Street, Niagara Falls. It's a shame that all the money just has to keep going towards the big business, the big corporations, the hotels and the casinos. And everyone seems to forget about the old downtown Niagara Falls, which really is very sad. <laughs> <laughs>